Okay, I just got my new Bronze Series 7 Razor. I believe the correct title would be Bronze Series 7 360 Flex. And then the model number, if you want to look it up, is 5764. Um, that's pretty much the front of the box. It does come in a really good box for gift wrapping if you were to get it for a Christmas present. Since we are close to the holidays. I'm going to go ahead and flip around and show the different technologies. It does have 360 flex, the flex system on it, which uh, I'll show you here without picking it up. It just like moves back and forth. It doesn't move. Yeah, it moves front, back, and back and forth, side to side. So supposedly it adapts to your face really good, which uh, I think it could probably probably work. It says it has auto sense technology, reads and adapts motor power to bear density. So if that's true, it'll probably stay on super high for me because I have really tough stubble when I shave. So that's why I like to test out razors because uh, only certain ones work for me. It does say it has three flexible blades, uh, sensor foil, metal trimmer, and micro comb. I guess it's supposed to comb it. It would make sense if it combed it like to hold it up and run it through the blades that could come in handy easy click it's got a click on attachment to upgrade your shaver so I'll just move over and show you the attachments there's the one attachment right here which uh, just a sec I'm gonna have to grab a tripod or something okay so this is what the normal blades look like and you can just pop them off you don't even have to push a button they pop off extremely easy and you can put this attachment on to trim a beard if that's what so it would be ideal for like a goatee so turn it on real quick so again you just pop it right back off put the heads right back on so that being said it does come with a power charging cord, which I already plugged mine in and let it charge for an hour. It shows a full charge right there. I think if you turn it off, uh, that's what it does when you don't need to plug it in. Because when I first plugged it in, it showed the, the battery meter down a little bit. It's full battery meter. So, of course, when you, you turn it on, it's going to say to unplug it. It's pretty much just telling you that you don't need it plugged in. Let's grab my camera here real quick. And... So it comes with the beard trimmer. I already showed you the razor. It's supposed to be contoured for your hand. It does feel really comfortable, which can make a difference. It comes with this cleaning station, but I'm gonna show you that after I shave. I had to do a little bit of homework on that. Supposedly you just pop your razor in there and it cleans it hygienically for you with uh, some kind of fluid. Oh, let's see if it says on here. It just says, uh, Clean and renew cartridge. Doesn't quite say what's in it. Let's find out. Hmm. Doesn't really say what it is, so I have to do some more homework on that. Oh, it says contains ethanol, so it's pretty much ethanol alcohol or something like that for cleaning. But anyways, you're you're supposed to rinse the razor off and uh, plug it in there, it cleans it and charges it yourself. Uh, it could come in handy, but uh, anyways, I'm going to do a live shave on, or a uh, dry shave on half my face, and then I'll jump in the shower and do a wet shave on the other half. So here we go. It's already pulling at my skin a little bit hard, but it is shaving it pretty smooth really quick, so.
well, my initial impression is, wow, it's a little awkward, but uh, it's definitely giving me a really smooth shave so far. But uh, like I said, I have really tough stubble, so I really need a good razor. But uh, so far, it's, it's definitely shaving smoother than any electric razor I've used so far. It's not the most comfortable. It does pull a little bit, but uh, we'll see how it does on the hard part, like my my neck here. It's usually the hardest to shave. It's, uh, it's definitely the fastest, most efficient electric razor I've used to date. Uh, it's a little bit expensive, which at the end of the video I'll jump online and show you some prices for it. But uh, it's already shaved it fairly smooth before I even go back and touch it up. Uh, it's really, really smooth and uh, it was pretty quick. I pulled up my hairs a little bit, but I've let my stubble grow out for a couple days. So it's the price you're going to pay, I guess, for to get a smooth shave. Uh, Electric razors aren't perfect. I don't think they'll ever beat a handheld razor. I still use the Gillette, Gillette Fusion Pro Glide five blade razor that takes AAA battery. Uh, I don't think I'll ever find anything that beats it, but uh, this one definitely was quick and it shaved it really smooth. Definitely satisfied with it. Uh, the dry shave, it's definitely worth buying just for the dry shave. I don't like to wet shave anyways, but I'm just gonna touch it up and then I'll jump in the shower for the wet shave. When I touch it up, I can't even see any stubble yet, really. I just kind of go over it with my hand. Then if I feel some stubble, I just shave right behind my hand with it. And then if you shave right behind your hand, you can uh, pull the skin tight as you're shaving right behind it. And then as soon as you're done, you just fill it again and you can tell if it got it. So it works pretty good for me.
that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied with it. It's already a pretty safe buy. Um, you're pretty much paying for the uh, cleaning station, the extra money for the uh, cleaning station, which I'll show you at the end of the video. But uh, there you go. I'm definitely satisfied. It's definitely a, a very safe electric razor to buy, especially for a, a gift. But uh, I'm going to jump in the shower and do a wet shave. Okay, well, here goes with the uh, wet shave. I just wanted to take a hot shower first so you could see the normal effect of a wet shave. Supposedly, you can shave while you're in the shower with one of these. Seems kind of weird, but I guess they're supposed to be waterproof. I just used some Gillette Series uh, moisturizing uh, shaving gel, whatever. Works for me, I like it, but here we go. You're supposed to just be able to rinse it off in water. I'm just going to make sure there's not any hair in here from my dry shave. Nope, it's pretty clean. And then I do find with the wet shave that you won't feel it, pull up the hairs near as much anyways. But it's a little bit harder to tell if it's actually shaving until you rinse. So. Again, while I still have some uh, some shaving gel on my face, I'm just going to use that, that finger technique again to try to feel for stubble and go right behind it. Okay, go ahead and rinse and get the final verdict. Okay, so this is the dry shave part of my face. I was really happy with it. Um, well, my daughter, she wants a lot of attention today, but uh, it's definitely worth buying just for the dry shave. It shaved it really smooth. And then if I switch around, uh, <laughs> as usual, I was disappointed with the wet shave, but my wife can probably tell you if there's stubble there or not. Oh, yeah. It looks like there's some on my neck and up <laughs> my sideburn. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, that's really easy to touch up with a dry shave once you get done. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely a fell on the uh, nah. wet shave part. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to touch up what I missed with the wet shave real quick. I mean, that's it over there on the sideburns. This thing's a beast of a razor with the dry shave, but 
like I said, I'm not a fan of wet shaving with the electric razors anyways, but. Oh, well, there you go. It didn't really take that long to touch it up with the dry shave. Oh, a little bit more. But uh, I just feel like a shaver should just shave it the first time through. That's why I'm not a big fan of wet shaving with electric shavers. I'm just going to pop out the razor I still use because I haven't found an electric razor that can really beat it yet. It's my Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. It's got the five blade. You have to change the cartridges out and it runs off of a AAA battery. I'll go ahead and put out an affiliate link for it also. It actually costs more money in the long run because you have to buy the cartridges and replace them. But uh, I don't know. Still haven't found anything that beats it yet. But then I'll show you how the cleaning station works. So I do have to tell you the instructions that come with this thing are absolutely horrible. They actually if you go into them, they actually have pictures that you have to try to figure out. But uh, try to do some homework on this cleaning station, which I don't know if I mentioned. It does come with a really nice carry case. The razor is definitely worth the buy for a dry shave, maybe even a wet shave if you don't mind going over it and touching it up. But technically, you're just supposed to rinse it in water. You're not going to be able to see that. But all you have to really do is pop this off, make sure the, the hair is all out. Then you just run the blades under, you can even run them under soap and water, you just want to make sure it's rinsed off good before you stick it in here to clean it. Then uh, I think it comes like that. There's a little button on the back you can push, it pops up. Then it comes with this, uh, I think we already identified it's ethyl alcohol. Just pop this tab off when you get it. Pop it in here. Slide it down, it latches. And then supposedly this thing's supposed to clean and charge and lubricate everything on its own. Just pop it in there and pop that button down. Oh, it'd help if it was plugged in. The same charging cord can plug into this thing or the razor. So there you go, that light, it's blue. It's supposed to be blue, you pop it in there, push this down, and it just starts doing its own thing. Supposedly you're supposed to be able to leave it, so. Get the camera off the stand here and do more of a close up. But I just want to see what it does. It's supposed to clean it, lubricate it, and charge it. I'm just going to kind of let the video around here and see what it does. You can always skip ahead if you don't want to watch the whole thing. But. Can't tell. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's actually filling a little reservoir there with the uh, ethyl alcohol. Just high enough so that it can uh, rinse off the blades. Let's see what it does here. I think this is kind of overdoing it a little bit, but hey, it's the age of the coronavirus, so you can get your razor as clean as possible. Probably, probably keep you from getting as many ingrown hairs and stuff. Actually, oh no, nope, we still got some in the reservoir there. So, like I said, the instructions are horrible that come with this thing, so. Yeah, it looks like it lowered that stuff back out of the reservoir, so. And. But it's doing it again. I don't know, this part's a little confusing for me. I might have to go do some more homework on it, but I think some of the other review videos were just kind of leaving it out so that they didn't have to deal with it. But I'll try to get you guys the right answer here. So it looked like it cleaned it again, and now it's 
lowering it back out of the reservoir, and there it goes, it's cleaning it again. So, there you go. Just let it run here and see how long it does it. There you go. Just try to give you a play by play of the cleaning station. You don't have to keep watching it, but I will definitely get you the right answer before the end of the video. Who knows, maybe it cleans it like three or four times before it calls it good. Oh, yep, there we go. So, it looked like it rinsed it with that alcohol stuff. Oh, I lost track three times or something. And now, supposedly, it should just be charging. And it, as you can see, it just did this all on its own. So, you're supposed to be able to just plug it into that cleaning sh uh, station and leave it. But even if you wanted to just clean it like once a week, you don't have to plug it into this cleaning station. You can just plug the cord straight into the razor and just store the razor somewhere. But uh, I'm pretty sure you don't have to charge it after each use either. It does even come with a five minute charge where supposedly you can charge it for five minutes if you get in a bind, if it's too low and you need to hurry and charge it because you got to go somewhere or something. It's supposed to charge in five minutes for one time use. but. As you can see, it did finish cleaning all on its own, and it's supposed to just be charging, so I'll just kind of leave the camera on, and I'll see if that light changes, and then I can just fast forward the video when I get done, but uh, that way you guys will definitely have an answer for how the uh, cleaning slash charging station works. Okay, so it looks like when it's fully charged, the blue light actually quits blinking because you just pop this up and I'll be able to check. You can tell there it's fully charged by that battery meter. So there you go. That's how the uh, cleaning slash charging station works. Otherwise, if you don't want to clean it, which kind of smells like ethyl alcohol now, so you would have to rinse it pretty good probably rinse it with soap and water before I used it but I mean it does have a pretty strong smell of the alcohol stuff but if you don't want to clean it you can just plug it in like this and let it charge and then it'll just quit charging when it's full so there you go and I will jump online and sh so, uh, show you some prices real quick Okay, so here's the actual razor online. I like to use Amazon.com for the uh, reviews, even if I'm not ordering it from Amazon. You can tell it's got over 2,100 views with four and a half stars, so that's pretty good. I already opened the reviews over here. If you go down, it usually has them sorted by, uh, if you follow my little hand pointer here, it says top reviews. I like to go down and order them by most recent. And then just go through and look for bad reviews. Right away it says best foil shaver I've ever had. Which it's the it's the best one I've used so far for a dry shave. Like I said I'm not a big fan of uh, wet shaves with the uh, electric razors. But to each their own. Uh, right away it does start getting some bad reviews. This one says will not give you a closed shave. Uh, it's pretty vague though. The, maybe they used it for a wet shave. It, Definitely wasn't the greatest for a wet shave, but I haven't found an electric razor that does a really good job with the wet shave, especially if you use shaving cream. Uh, just gets too much uh, resistance with the shaving cream and crap. But anyways, right right away it starts going back to a uh, um, good review. So um, took me three times longer to shave. Um. This one I think is a little bogus because it's actually the fastest electric shaver I've used so far. Probably just, you have to press down and put a little bit of pressure and try to keep your skin tight, like pull it tight with your hand. And then if you press down, you can just move over it fairly slowly to let it just make sure it gets everything. So this person might not have even been shaving, right? But, uh... Nice shaver, cleaner charger lasts two months. Not going to clean cycle, not worth the money. Oh, doesn't have the greatest greatest reviews, but uh, 
that's why I test products though so <clears throat> these are still if you click on all reviews I would still go to most recent so doesn't work properly wish I could return it does not work no matter how many times I go over face leaves many spots again it doesn't say if they're trying to use it for a wet or dry shave certainly not as messy as using foams and wet shaving with the blade Um, gives a close shave. Yeah, uh, the reviews are a little hit and miss. I'm kind of surprised, but anyways, I showed you the live proof, so it's up to you. It's a very safe buy. Like I say, you're paying a little bit extra money for the uh, oh the cleaning machine, which it looked like it was some type of ethyl alcohol or cleaning alcohol which you could buy over the counter anyways probably just soak your razor head in it get the same effect but for $99.99 really not spending that much money um actually it could be wrong looks like you can get it on Amazon without the cleaning station don't see any cleaning station in this one for $99.99 let me click on this other one for $159.99 Oh, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, you can buy it online. Costs $160 with the cleaning station, which I don't think you need. You can even buy some alcohol and rinse the heads off that way if you want to go that way. But it's definitely, without a doubt, worth the $99.99. So, there you go. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Go eat turkey. Why are you watching me?